to Dodge Supreme. It's your trade. Get up to $5,000 minimum trade value. For your trade this... Good morning and welcome to Today in L.A. with Mike Amos. I'm Forrest Lee. And on the phone, we have Michael Amos Sr. calling in and his son, Michael Jr. Uh, good morning, guys. It's a beautiful Wednesday. Uh, we're at uh, Boy, it sure is Thanksgiving Eve. I mean, I'm calling from the Gulf of Mexico. It is beautiful down here. It's, it's just simply gorgeous. Uh, but, and also, I, I, I just want to let anybody know, I'm, I'm going to let them know who's going to win in high school and college football this week. Well, last week, Steve won. He missed 10. Michael, Steve, yeah, he missed 10. Michael missed 11. I missed 14, and you missed 18. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the Pickums. And, uh, of course, Charles Simpson travels to Mobile to play Faith Academy. That's about three hours away, 174 miles. They're playing the Rams. And Highland Home travels to B.B. Comer. That's about a two-hour drive, about 99 miles, and they'll be playing the Tigers in Sylacauga. That's the hometown of Jim Neighbors. Golly, Shazam! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and also, uh, thank you, Doug Layton. It's Doug Layton, the, the voice of the Princeton Tide, was from B.B. Comer. Yeah. Hi, hey, Michael, I see uh, that. Uh, great, great golf course, course uh, for sale. Uh, uh, is out there. there. Uh, if everybody's everybody's been there, been out there. there. They, they, they do all the side for uh, the Masters and uh, all the golf courses, courses all over the country. <laughs> Michael, I saw where Troy's University game has been moved to ESPNU against Arkansas State. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's about, about the worst, worst uh, time, time ever to, ever to uh, move a game to. Two thirty on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Well, when is Alabama Auburn game go? Two thirty. Two thirty on Saturday. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, Troy, Troy uh, not, not getting a lot of luck with uh, television. Uh, they always go head-to-head with Alabama games, it seems like. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, with it being on ESPNU, I'll have a computer watching the Troy game and, 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 and a television watching all the Alabama. Alabama and mm -hmm. Might have a TV going on the force as well. So, hopefully in the commercial, we got it now. ESPNU, you got that. I do. Okay, yeah. yeah. ESPNU the common channel, channel though. Yeah, okay. The, uh, ESPNU and Troy. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay, I'm, I'm tickled. I'm tickled. I'll get to watch both of them. Troy State had a big, huge win last night. They they throttled uh, that team out of New Orleans 118 to 61. I think the manager Whoa. came off the bench, scored about 12 points. Yeah, yeah, Troy, Troy, Troy is, is playing, playing some, some of the worst competition, competition at home I've ever seen this year. This year. A, bunch a bunch of Division three, NAI, Division two. I mean, I mean apparently, I've heard them. They, they won the tournament in Montana, and then, and then they, they went, went out of Florida State. State so, yeah. Coach, Coach Troy is doing really this year. year. Monday night, we travel to Arkansas to play the Razorbacks, and then the women, the women are playing them as well next week. Right now. Uh, Troy plays the Arkansas Razorbacks this Monday in Arkansas, and the women play them next week as well. Not the same night. Yeah, we ought to go over uh, Troy women's schedule. It's been an uh, unbelievable out of, out of conference uh, schedule this year. I mean, I mean the, the amount, amount of the uh, Troy teams they play, they play is incredible. Have you got that, Michael? Yeah, yeah I'll pull that off real quick. Coach, Coach Ridley, uh, like I said, she has uh, no interest. Um, and, and, and win in the lead and not get an automatic bid. Well, this schedule this year, she might not be able to get one if they win the lead. They played at Sanford once. Sanford's always good in basketball. Played um, at T.C. Martin. Uh, E.T. Martin. Um, they won 89 And they played at UCLA. Got beat by 12. Played at San Francisco. Got beat by 11. Um, played BYU in Hawaii. Beat BYU. Played, uh, Washington. They beat BYU. Yeah, yeah played Washington State in the same tournament, got beat by 15. Washington State must be good. good. And then they're at Arkansas, like 4-7 on Thursday, December the 1st. 
You got Tulane, Troy, Mercer, Troy, and Troy. Uh, and, and then, then they, they got Belmont. Belmont. Going against two Jones, Jones in Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee. Uh, on December 20th, Doug. Oh, that's great. Now, they'll be played in, in uh, Nashville. Yeah. yeah. You know, the San Francisco, they're called the Dons, right? Yeah, that's right. Doug. It says a university teacher, especially a senior member of a college. That's what a don is, or it's a Spanish <laughs> title prefixed to a male forename. So that's the San Francisco Dons. That's where the big uh, Bill Russell played, I believe. Yes, sir. They won two I'm national championships. Yeah. Uh, the uh, we want to wish the Trojans the best of luck, and uh, of course. Uh, the Highland Home Flying Squadron as they take on the uh, Tigers of B.B. Comer up in Silicon. Yeah, great, great, great job by Will Pouncey, man. I tell you what, uh, these last couple of years, years have been phenomenal. phenomenal. I think they went to the fourth round last year, fourth round again, again this year. year. I was, I was watching, watching the news down here yesterday. Florida is only into the third round. round. I guess they uh, start a week later, later uh, in and Florida. Florida and they're they're doing doing all all right. Yeah, George is the same way. Georgia has – Two automatic buys in their schedule. I know Callaway High School, where Claude Giddens' son, Zach's offensive coordinator uh, at uh, Callaway High School, they're playing in LaGrange uh, this Friday, and they're in the third round, I believe, there in Georgia. And uh, But our high school games, we got four this week. Uh, the first one, we'll do those four if you want to. We got St. James at Mobile Christian. Um, you know, at, at this time of year, it's anybody's game, and I'm just going to go ahead and circle Mobile Christian for my pick, Ronnie Cottrell. I tell you what, he's done a heck of a job, hasn't he? All right, I'll take I'll take Mobile Christian. Yeah, you know I mean, same same James James good. Good. We saw that big quarterback, quarterback and how athletic he was against Charles Henderson, and Charles Henderson struggled with him. Yeah. But, but I'll, I'll take Mobile Christian. Mobile Christian, Mobile Christian, uh, Mobile Christian uh, beat Clay County, County what was it, 27 to 7? Something like that. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, one of the players, you know, got ejected, and I heard Ian Foster was hurt. So that probably affected uh, Pike County a lot. Yeah. Hey, listen, listen to this. He got hurt on the first play of the game. Wasn't that something? Right. And did not come out, come back either. He, he, he got hurt the first one. What is your best? What, what is that, that with uh, Charles Simpson and, uh, and their, their guy? Number two, Andalusia is at Montgomery Catholic. This is a a showdown of the, that region. Uh, Catholic defeated them earlier. I'm not sure what score, but my, it's at Montgomery Catholic, and I will pick Montgomery Catholic. All right. Uh, if, if I'm next, uh, uh, a good friend of mine is a huge Andalusia fan and supporter. He said Andalusia had four straight uh, uh, away games. And and, the, and if they win, if they win against Catholic, it would be five straight. But um, no, no, it, no four. But I, I can't take uh, Andalusia here. I'm gonna take Catholic. They've been dominant. They beat them uh, earlier in the year. Yeah, yeah Montgomery Catholic. Catholic uh, did they, they, they lost last year with their great team? Didn't they? They, they lost. They, they had an upset um, in the playoffs. Uh, yeah, one of those Montgomery. Montgomery I had to look it back. I don't, you know, I have that. But yeah, Montgomery Catholic, Catholic uh, I mean, shoot, English, English was down 25 to nothing, nothing man, Anderson, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, I think it was 14 or nothing. No, it was more than that. It was 21 or 20. It was at least 21 to nothing at one time. Yeah. I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll take Montgomery, Montgomery Catholic. All right, here's number three. I hope the flying squadron fly all the way to Auburn and win it uh, for the first time. But they got to go through Sylacauga and beat B.B. Comer. They were, it was named after a former uh, governor who was instrumental with the uh, railroad. And um, But I'm going to pick the flying squadron of Highland Home. And um, 
What is BB Comer Records? Do we have any clue? They are, I believe, here we go. BB Comer is 11 and 2. 11 and 2. Actually, uh, I actually did a great grandson, BB Palmer Braxton, in Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne Auburn, with him. Uh, he's calling like a Henderson. Henderson. He's calling like a Henderson. 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 I'm I'm researching um, BB Comer. They are their losses were to Dadeville, forty eight to twenty one, and they lost to Sachs twenty eight to nothing. But they beat Childersburg, Woodland, Ramburn, Vincent, Isabella, Thorsby, Central Coosa, Fayetteville. They beat Lynette in the playoffs forty five to twenty. They defeated Wicksburg, 22 to 14. They defeated Realtown, 28, 22. And um, so, yeah, so, so there's so there's so there's two, so there's two losses, losses were blowouts. I wonder if they had a quarterback or something. Mm -hmm. but I that was early in the year. Yeah. You know, BB Comer is a, what they call a colony. You know, it's it's not a not actually a, 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 a system. You know, a, a, but they're 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 considered a colony. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, then our last high school game, Charles Henderson travels about three hours to play Faith Academy. Um, Boy, that's going to be a tough one. I'm for, I'm going to pick the Trojans, orange and blue. Yeah, Coach Hamrod was on the show yesterday. I don't know if you got to see it or not. It was very confident. Um, um, felt like they did something really good, good with uh, Faith. Faith. Of course, Faith, uh, you can compare games. They played UFAW in the first round and beat UFAW 21 to 15. Charles Henderson and went to UFAW and won 34 to 7. So that's got to make the Charles Henderson players have some confidence. I felt like Charles Henderson left a lot on the field against the UNS Rod. I felt like they could have blown them out. Or at least beat him a couple touchdowns. Uh, so. I, th I thought they were much more physical than than. Uh, no, I, uh, that's, that's what I told Coach uh, Hamber. Right. Um, I like Charles Henderson. I like Charles Henderson to go on the road and win. win. As long as they can cut off the penalties and not have turnovers, um, I, I, I think, think they, they, they can win and win a couple touchdowns. Put me down for Charles Henderson. I'll take the trophy. You know, the two losses that Faith had in the regular season was to Gulf Shores. 22 to 12, and they lost to UMS Wright 21 to 20. Uh, but they avenged that loss, and um, they defeated Gulf Shores, you know, 20 to 14. We will we'll we'll take, take that call. call. Okay. You can't uh, get three calls. We um, will jump right in. It's about 7:15. We'll go do a few college games. We have Oklahoma at Texas Tech. Okay. Oklahoma at Texas Tech. Oh, boy, at Texas Tech. I'm going to take Texas Tech. I'm only going to bowl eligible last week. I'm going to take the Red Raiders and upset. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the Red Raiders and I don't I just throw yeah, you toss you start it. With a real tough game. I'll pick this, this is one of those I'll pick Oklahoma. I only got a one game lead on Mike now. What uh, <laughs> what day is this game? I'm not real sure. But would it be Friday? Well, we got plenty, we got plenty of great games. Thursday night for Mississippi State on the um Mississippi State in the last game, then you got tons of games on Friday. Yeah. Um, after what? I don't know. Um, I, I, just just <laughs> I just threw them in there. I left the SEC games for last and uh, some of the Sun Belt. But it, you know, who do you put first? They're all they're all tough. You know, to me. Oh uh, man, I'm trying to find a line on the money. No one can I guess it's Saturday. Saturday. The uh, um, Texas, Texas Tech is an underdog at home. So Oklahoma, I'll, I'll take Texas, Texas Tech. Texas Tech. I, I picked Oklahoma. 
Uh, we got Wake Forest at Duke. Wake Forest at Duke. Give me Wake Forest. Big Mike. Dad. Mr. Mike. Dad. 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 Okay. I don't know which line to hang up on. I think you're on line two. Um, anyway. Anyway, uh, game three is UAB at La Tech. Michael, I read. Let's, 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 let's All right, let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. I want to thank uh, Premier Chrysler uh, Dodge Jeep Ram of Troy, Alabama, and Mr. Jason Gregory uh, for uh, sponsoring this show. I want to thank Birds Drugs, Troy Bacon Trust, P.S. Falker. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back after these messages. It's that time again. Hurry, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It's your trade. Get up to $5,000 minimum trade value for your trade this week. Appraisers on site for this to the best for me. And get up to five thousand dollars minimum trade value. Nobody beats the premier deal. Nobody. A personal touch, a high level of trust. Whether it's checking and savings accounts, personal or business loans, or our local friendly service. That's what Troy Bank and Trust customers expect. But now we offer more. Free identity theft protection for our new and existing customers. Protecting your family's time, money, and good name from identity theft. Because protecting your identity is now a big part of our identity. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle? We've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. They say people like natural diamonds form over time. When the time is right, you too will continue a legacy. Only natural diamonds to treasure. Great exquisite jewelry. Our wide selection of pre owned vehicles look so good, you'll think they're new. So take the short drive to Bill Jackson Ford in Troy, where you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Ford, mm -hmm. Troy, Alabama. We're about to go back. Good uh, morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Forrest Lee. We're on today in LA. Uh, on the phone, we have Michael Amos Jr. calling in uh, from Grayton Beach, Florida. He's zoomed in and we're doing our regular picks. We will not. We'll show a replay Thursday and Friday, and we want to wish everybody a a, a great Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, one thing about uh, high school football, there are a lot of big games this week. Seven A will not play. Seven A already has the final set. It's Thompson uh, versus Auburn, and that will be next Wednesday in Auburn. Hold on. Good morning. Welcome to Today in L.A. Uh, we're back on the air. Now, we're back. And um, we... Uh, you you, you, you ain't going to talk to Don or something? No, I'm not. I, I, I just, I, it went off. Okay. And I, I dialed it back. Okay. <laughs> we got Wake Forest at Duke. Um, Michael Jr. and I both picked Wake Forest. Who you got, Big Mike? Uh, I took Duke. Duke. All right, UAB and Louisiana Tech. I read this on uh, the paper today, uh, not on the paper, but on Alabama, on uh, CBS, that talks about the opening at UAB, that who are they going to hire for their next coach? They feel like Bill Clark uh, will not take the job if it's opened back up, but they're looking at Virginia Tech coach Justin Fuente, or it could be Sumlin, who used to be at Texas A&M. Oh, or, God, that'd be horrible. Or it could be Neil Brown, if things don't work yeah. out in West Virginia. Neil or, Brown, great, great, great hire. Yeah. Skip Holtz, his name has come up in Larry Fedora. But that was our yeah. article on, on uh, CBS Sports this morning. 
BYU at Stanford. Brigham Young is at Stanford. Um, uh, I'll take BYU. I'll take I think Bill O'Brien would be a great place to uh, great coach UAB. Right. I don't know if I'm going to put it Don't you think he should leave and go to UAB? Well, who's going to be BYU? BYU, Stanford. At Stanford. Uh, give me Stanford. Stanford. All right, we got Purdue at Indiana. Purdue at Indiana. Another tough one. Battle of Indiana. Give me Purdue. Give me Purdue. I'll take Purdue. Mm. We got, we got breaking, breaking news. news. Well, he's just, just sitting in his text. Uh, he, he, he called, called me about the show today because he called Mac Hall. He was trying to get in on the show, but he had Coach Cambrite on. And and didn't want to get Coach Cambrite off. But uh, it's been a done deal. Ten years. One hundred million dollars from Auburn. Also, Ole Miss gets seventeen million dollars from Auburn. To buy out, to buy out, is the report. And, and, and he gets a mediocre coach in my book. Is the report that that Mike Hall tried to give us yesterday, but Jay Will somehow off the air. But uh, that's what we're going to have to say. And also, we're going to have to fix. We can we can get at some point today as well. Okay. All right, we got. Purdue at Stanford. Big Mike picks Purdue. No, I'm sorry. Purdue, Purdue, Purdue at Indiana. Uh, Indiana. Pur yeah, yeah, Purdue at Indiana. And everybody goes with Purdue. Number six, another big game, Minnesota at Wisconsin. I'm going to pick the Badgers. I'm going to yeah, pick Wisconsin. Wisconsin's playing good. Hey, Minnesota's been disappointed this year. year. You got Wisconsin, Mike? Yeah, Wisconsin. I. Oh, uh, Tulane is at Cincinnati. Each game here, determine who plays in the conference championship game. Tulane is amazing. That's some SMU though. Um, I'm gonna take Cincinnati home though. I'm gonna take Cincinnati too. Cincinnati. Well, I just beg to differ. I'm gonna go with Tulane. All right, number eight, a big one in the state of North Carolina. You got the North Carolina State Wolfpack versus the Tar Heels of North Carolina. At North Carolina. Boy, North, North Carolina, Carolina must have been, been looking past uh, this game, game last week. got beat by Georgia Tech, Tech after being up 17 to nothing. And they only lost one, one game. game. They're all a slight favorite, favorite here at home, six and a half, but I'll take North Carolina. Carolina. That's who I got. I'll take, I'll take North Carolina. UCLA at California. UCLA at California. I'll take the Bruins. Uh, this this is a lot of over the way you said it. Of course, their season's over since they got beat by USC. I'll take UCLA. I think this could be an upset. I'm going to take Cal. I'm going to take Cal in the upset at home. All right. Here we go. Number 10, West Virginia is at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State's State quarterback turned through four interceptions against Oklahoma. They were atrocious on offense. Um, but, but I think, think West Virginia is pretty quick. Neil Brown. Um, I'll, I'll take Oklahoma State at home. That's who I got. Who you got, Mr. Mike? Uh, I, I'll take West Virginia. This, this is a, 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 a big game for Neil Brown. Well, well, I mean, nothing, nothing though. I mean, he can only does does get a five, five or seven. seven. All right, we got the we got the dot yeah, of the band. Right, 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 Michigan at Ohio State. Oh boy, 
Ohio There's State. There's a lot in there. Yeah, seven and a half. Coral, the great running back, Michigan's hurt. Of course, they barely got by. Uh, um, you know, last week, week. Yeah, they got by the Illinois. Illinois. Ohio, Ohio State, State didn't, didn't play great against Maryland either. either but give me Ohio State. State. Give, give me the points. I love that seven and a half. half. I, I, I think Ohio State, State might be my free touchdown. Yeah, I'll take Ohio State. Uh, this is a big game for, for both teams, but uh, it seems like Ohio State wants it more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the Pick'em Show this Wednesday, and we normally do it on uh, a Thursday or a Friday. But number 12, Battle of Oregon, you have Oregon at Oregon State. Oh, yeah, they, they call, call, the, they they call, the, call the, the game the Civil War. War. Uh, uh, the 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 two great teams this year, year as well. Give me my buddy Bo. Give me Bo. I'll take Bo all the way. Bo can't run right now, though. He's basically a drop back passer. Interesting line here. This line went from seven to six and a half. Oregon is a favorite. Vegas loves Oregon. Oregon is a favorite. Oregon is a favorite. What's wrong with Bo? I uh, hurt ankle. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, I'll take. The Oregon State. State. That's who I've already circled them. To be honest with you. And I took Oregon. Mm -hmm. Michigan State at Penn State. I'll take the Nittany Lions. Yeah, Penn, Penn State's State playing pretty good. good. They sure are playing good. They're about, They're about to go to, uh, ten and two. two. All right, I'm taking Penn State. Big Mike takes Penn State. Michael, what you think? Uh, Penn State. State. All right, here's a big one. Notre Dame at Southern Cal. Notre, Notre Dame, Dame at Southern Cal. A lot of, uh, lot of LSU fans are going to be pulling for, uh, pulling for the upset here. Um, Southern, Southern Cal is very lucky all year. year. I mean... I mean Basically, Basically wins the shootout. When, when is this game? This game must be Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night at 6.30. This game will be on ABC. Saturday night, night. Saturday night um, this this game game will be on ABC. USC is a slight five and a half point, point favorite. favorite. That's who I got. Southern Cal. I don't know if Notre Dame can stop them, though. I'll take USC. Who you got, Mike? I'll take USC. I'll take USC. USC has so much to play for. You got... Kansas at Kansas State. Kansas, give me, give me Kansas, Kansas, State. Kansas State in a big way. That's unanimous. Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll say that Kansas, Kansas is bowling. Well, that's, that's nice, nice for uh, Kansas fan base. Uh, what about this one? Could this be an upset? Iowa State at TCU. No. I am a, 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 a TCU fan. TCU, TCU, I'll take TCU. All right, here's I'll another. What, uh, did, did you watch the end of that TCU Baylor game there? I mean, I mean they, 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 they run, run the ball with no timeouts. Time uh, uh, the guy getting get about five, five six yards. yards. 17, 16, 16 seconds, seconds left. They're having to run, run the field goal team out. out. I, mean, I mean, last, last, last play, play of the game, game the guy, guy gets the ball off maybe two, two seconds left. Um, he's a 40-yarder winning that game. Unbelievable. Five seconds, four seconds. Three seconds, the kick is yeah. dropped, and it's just, that kind of it was, deal. It was, it was just, it was just, just like Ted Lyon beat North Dakota State. Who had to run their field goal team off? 17, Washington is at Washington State. Boy, Boy give, give me, me, give me Washington. Washington. I like Washington. Washington. They're they're a great quarterback. What's a low line, though? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you something on Vegas. Line was two and a half. Washington's ranked 17th in the country. So, uh, at Washington State. State. What you think, Ooh. Mike? I'll, I'll take Washington. Give me Washington. Give me Washington. Scary line. Who you got? Washington. That's unanimous. All right. 18, Baylor at Texas. Well, I don't know what happened to Baylor. They were, like, playing the best football. Maybe one of the hottest teams in the country. Can't find a way to win. win. I'll take Texas. I'll take Texas. Home, Texas. Home, they just absolutely killed Kansas. Kansas. At Kansas, Texas, Texas won 55 to 14. I'll take. You know, they, they probably have the best quarterback, I mean, best running back in, in college football, number five, Robinson. 
Yeah. yeah. He rushed, he rushed like 15, 15 yards, yards in TCU. Didn't, didn't show up. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, how do I'll they take, do I'll, I'll take, take, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take Texas. 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 Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be a little Nebraska is at Iowa. I'm going to take Iowa. Nebraska is at Iowa. Yeah, you know, if Iowa wins, wins that game, game, they got to play in their conference championship, championship game with one of the worst offenses in the history of Division one football. football. <laughs> yeah. they, 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 they win that game with defense. I'll take Iowa. They won't be signing Nebraska either. They have not hired a head coach yet. They, they, they fired, fired uh, Scott, uh, Scott, Scott Frost. Shoot, almost two months, months ago. ago. Yeah. You got Iowa, Big Mike, I mean, Little Mike. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got about four more, then we'll get, when we go to the SEC, we'll take a quick break. But let's go to Carolina. Coastal Carolina is at James Madison. Oh, boy. Very, very, very strange, strange line here. here. So, so you're talking about James Madison, Madison first year in Division, Division one. one. Next weekend. Would that be next week? Yeah. I'm going to Disney World on Sunday. I was like, but I think I'm going to have to go to that championship game to play in Florida. I reckon so. All right. I'm going to pick James Madison. I'm going to take James Madison. You got to go with James Madison as far as the line goes. Man, Coastal has a backup quarterback that's played a lot over the last three or four years. Number 22, Old Dominion at South Alabama. I'm going with the Jaguars. Another game that's played at South Alabama, but hardly uh, Old Dominion actually beat Coastal at Coastal this year. I'll, I'll take South Alabama. Yeah. You got, is that who you got, Big Mike? Yeah, well, uh, South Alabama just lost one game, but is that right? They, they lost to Troy, and they, they lost to a team called UCLA. UCLA last game. That's right. Wow. I'll take, I'll take South Alabama. All right. Appalachian State at Georgia Southern. Wow. Uh, I, I want to say, say Georgia Southern is trying to get more ability. But you know what? I don't think – I think that something happened to this uh, Georgia Southern team. I'll take App State. I'll take Aspen. Aspen really bad this year. Yeah. I just think they just have more players than South Alabama. I'm going with the. So Georgia Southern is five and six. Alabama is six and five. Oh, Lee. I'm going to go with the. I'm going to go with Georgia Southern. Who you got, little Mike, big Mike? Mike, I mean. I'm going to go with you, too. I'm going to take Georgia Southern because that'd be really big. 
And before we get into SEC play, we got one more to pick. Rutgers at Maryland. I'm going to pick Maryland. Give me Maryland, too. I'll take Maryland. Well, ladies and gentlemen, one thing we wanted to mention today is um, Jeff Cotton uh, passed away. Uh, he lives in northern Florida. Of course, he played on Troy University's national championship team. Is that right, uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, Mike? Let me just say this. He's one of the great running backs of all time at Troy. He gained, uh, it's junior and senior years he both he gained the uh, all time yards for Troy University. Jeff Cotton and uh, his grandson Wilson is that Pike Arts. He's about he, he's a big old boy. He's probably six two. Wilson yeah. about six two. He's a sophomore, I believe. Plays football and basketball and baseball. But ladies and gentlemen, where, uh, where, 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 where did Jeff, Jeff Cotton, Cotton grow up? Dad? He grew up in, in, in uh, South Georgia, uh, one of the uh, right over there. Gosh, I, I can't remember the name of the little, little town of South Georgia right next to. Uh, he, he lived, lived uh, several years in Troy. He lived several years in Troy, didn't he? Was it Quitman? Yeah, actually, after he graduated, yeah. <laughs> but he was a great one, no question about it. Yeah, Cotton. What number did you wear? 33, 34? 34. 34. 34. If you heard of that, that's. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break, and when we get back, we're going to finish with the uh, Pick'em Show, picking the Southeastern Conference teams, along with Troy University's um, um, game against uh, Arkansas State that has been moved to ESPNU. I want to thank our sponsors, uh, Premier uh, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Troy and Jason Gregory and his staff. I want to thank Bird's Drugs, Trollbecker Trust Company, Wiley, Wiley Sanders Truck Lines, PS, PS Vault Furniture, located in Enterprise and Dauphin. And we'll be back after these messages. It's that time again. It's your trade. Get up to $5,000 minimum trade value. For your trade this weekend. Appraisers on site. For this event. for me. And get up to Cost plus 10%. We offer your favorite brands at the best price. At Piggly Weekly, we keep it simple. We price our products at cost, then add 10% at checkout. We carry all your favorite name brand foods, and we accept manufacturer coupons. Find us on Facebook and see our weekly specials. This award is for the team, for the employees who keep us going and help us get there, for the employees who keep this community in rhythm and the ones who keep us comfortable. For those who go that extra step to do more, give more, care more. It's because of you that Southeast Health was honored as one of the best employers in Alabama by Forbes. We want to give credit where credit is due. We're one of the best because of you. for a new or pre-owned vehicle, we've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC. You know, you know, you know, you know how good it is, I'm thinking of the pool down there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back to uh, Today in L.A. Uh, on this Wednesday morning. I want to thank uh, you for joining us. Um, we, on the phones, we have Mike Amos uh, calling in from the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, and his son Michael is calling in from Grayton Beach, and we're... Yeah, Dad, uh, Dad's, Dad's looking, looking at the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, and I'm looking at Lava. That's the difference of Mike Amos and Little Mike. 
So, um, and I tell you this, I tell you this, it's gonna be a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner uh, at your house, Michael, and your wonderful wife uh, is preparing it for us. Yeah, yeah I went and, uh, uh, bought a Christmas, Christmas tree yesterday, yesterday and my wife went all crazy because I was going ahead and buying it. I said, well, I'll buy one before Thanksgiving every year. year. But I'll, I'll tell you what, what, man, I, I need, need to start growing some Christmas trees properly because uh, I, I, I bought, bought one, one at Lowe's yesterday, yesterday. It, was it was about 80 bucks, and I think last year it was about 55. So yeah, Christmas, 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 Christmas trees, Christmas trees, Christmas trees, Christmas trees gone up. Up. Yeah, you know, buddy's buddy Starlin and the Starlin family, they they have a Christmas tree sale, I believe, beginning today or tomorrow, right there where Terracotta used to be on uh, Montgomery Street, up from uh, the Pike Farmers Co-op. And you, you know what? They pre-sale every one of them. Mm -hmm. and, and it's amazing that you know the the the, the the what a great business they've got going. Mm -hmm. That's Buddy and Sherry. Yeah, well, uh, do you, you do a live or do you do artificial? Live. We've done live for a long time. We used to go down to, uh, is it Stenson's down the Elba Highway? Yeah, that's I right. mean, Enterprise. We used to go to Stenson's for a long, long time. Even when we lived in Georgia, a couple of times we picked them up from there and drove them all the way to Georgia. And, yeah, uh, any of these, uh, any of these uh, Christmas, Christmas tree farms, farms uh, in our viewing area, area want to advertise on the show, uh, give us a call. call. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about, about it every day. Yeah. Hey, question for you. If LSU beats Georgia, will they make it? Will LSU be in the playoffs? I, I, I feel, feel like, like an SEC champion 100% deserves to make it. All the shots to make it. Yeah, I think they're going to make it. I mean, the uh, uh, select committee has already shown you that they have a great love for LSU. Sure. Yeah, I think I, I think it'll happen too. I think it'll definitely happen. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, if you look at their, 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 their season, season, they lost an extra, extra point away from going to Oklahoma, Florida, 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 Florida State. State. I mean, I mean who misses, misses an extra point, point got blocked, I think. Mean, mm -hmm. they, they kicked it so low. low. But uh, they, they would definitely be one of the hottest teams in America. And who was the other team that beat them? Oh, Tennessee blew them out. I don't shoot. I mean, Tennessee just killed them. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Thursday night. Mississippi State travels to Ole Miss. Who's going to win that one? And this is the yeah. East Bowl. Is that right? This is the East Bowl. And yeah, that's the big, big game. The big, big game, game in my house. I'm watching Mississippi State to grow up. I'm going to go with Mississippi State. Are you, who, who's playing at home here? At Ole Miss. Yeah, Lane yeah, Kiffin has come, come out and said, and said that uh, only the only way I'll leave, leave, leave uh, uh, Mississippi is in a fine ball. ball. He stole Somerville. He may come down uh, in a pine box with wheels on it. <laughs> I, I, I but that, that, but that, that, he's overrated. I, I, Kiffin is overrated, my opinion. I, I think yeah, he's yeah, real. Yeah, I yeah, think he's great. You, 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 you know he's more overrated? Mike Leach. Leach. Oh, yeah, no question. But I'm going to take old Miss to win now. Excuse me. I'm going to take old Miss to win. Well, well, this line, line in Vegas, Vegas is very strange, strange because all the kids and you know, yeah, everybody's saying he's going to resign after the game, game take all the jobs the next day. day. And, you know, we, we got, got reports as high um, as 10 years, $100 million, million to go to Auburn. Auburn. Um, but uh, this line went from five, five and a half to two and a half. So Vegas, Vegas is telling us something, but I'm still taking all this at home. I don't think this is mistake and stop that running back. Yeah, that's right. He played that, and that kid was the same running back that played for Pike Road last year. Yeah, yeah let, let, let me just say this, all the fans. fans. If Lane Kiffin gets, gets the job, the job Junkin, Junkin is from Pike, Pike Road, Road, Alabama. Alabama. Pike Road is about, about 30 minutes, minutes to Auburn. To Auburn. Uh, uh, that would be your new starting running back, back to Auburn, Auburn next year as well. well. Yeah, he'll, 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 they'll get him in the, you're right, they'll get him in the portal. You're right. And Auburn, overnight will be, they'll be, They'll be top ten. Yep, that, they'll be, they'll be. Auburn will be in the mix. And, and only a few people, people have the ego to go against Saban. Kiffin is definitely one of them. Yeah. Well, we uh, we got uh, so y'all pick Ole Miss. I'm gonna pick Mississippi State. Uh, Arkansas at Missouri. Boy, I tell you what, the the Arkansas team I saw was pretty good. They're playing at Missouri. Missouri, Missouri's uh, playing very well. Uh, I, but I'm, I'm going to take Arkansas. 
Uh, uh, Missouri is trying, trying to get Lola Lola here. here. Arkansas, Arkansas is getting Lola. Lola. I'll, I'll say, say the, the home, I'll I'll take the home, home team, team now. I'll Missouri. I'm going to go with the upset with the Missouri Tigers as well. Florida at Florida State. Hello. Give me Florida State. FSU. FSU. Yeah, yeah, Florida, Florida State, State is not, not only winning, winning, but they are blowing people, people out. out. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's also a good thing for LSU, LSU the way Florida State season is going. They win this game to go to 9 and 3. Give me, me FSU. FSU. That's who I got. Georgia Tech at Georgia. Georgia Tech at Georgia. That is upset alert? No. No. <laughs> you never know, though. You never know. They had to get Brent T. the job. The guy who would trust for him. Coach, I'm not going to make a whole time. I had a friend that was really good with him in high school. He's done a terrific job at Georgia Tech. He also lost a great quarterback at Georgia Tech. Two games after you got the job. job. Georgia. I'm going to take Georgia. I got Georgia. Well, well let's, let's take Georgia because Georgia's, Georgia's a 37-point favorite. Oh, boy. Number 29 on the list, South Carolina is at Clemson. And South Clemson Carolina is just big way. Clemson in a big way. Yeah, yeah South, South Carolina, Carolina looks look like, like a, a million bucks, bucks against, against Tennessee. Tennessee. And, and, uh, I don't, I don't know, know if that offense uh, uh, has got, got any points, points left in when they go play Clemson. Clemson. Um, I like them under the line. The line is 14 and a half. I'd take South Carolina on the points, but I'd take Clemson to win. All right, everybody's got Clemson. Clemson's got everything in front of them, too. They might sneak into the playoffs. I don't think they're very good. Yeah. Louisville. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a wallop. I got walloped. Louisville at Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, it's all about Louisville. It's all about Louisville quarterbacks. Uh, Kentucky really doesn't have anything left. Uh, they're teams. That's not how much I think of the SEC. No, I'm going to take Kentucky. That's who I got. Who you got, Big Mike? I'm going to take Kentucky. All right, we got. The line low is point two. LSU at Texas A&M. What about an upset? No. No, no, no way. You in a big way. You know, yeah, you, you know, know they, they only beat UMass. 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 The worst team, team in, in Division I football. football. And they only beat them at home 20 to 3. I mean, they, 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 they just, just quit. quit. You're, You're right. right that sports has been called this all year. A&M has so many players, many players in the transfer portal. It's, it's going to be on the they uh, they they lost a couple of studs that committed to them as seniors, you know. They and 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 I think the benefactor is going to be Texas, LSU, Auburn, and Alabama. It's going to be somebody in the South that's going to reap the benefits, and uh, or Georgia, you know. Georgia wins another one. Look out, Georgia is set to to they they're on the verge of a dynasty if they win. This year, because it's going to be set for Kirby and his bunch. All right, everybody picked LSU. So we got Tennessee is at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt is I what, think. four or five wins now? How about this? Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt if they win, win get four eligible. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> in, in Vegas, Vegas the, uh, the, 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 the over under wins and losses was three. Um, um for Vandy, and they, they surpassed that very quickly. quickly. Um, I will take Tennessee. Tennessee. The backup quarterback is pretty good for Tennessee. I don't, I don't see Vandy going to, to stop them. Um, so the line is the quarterback is out of the game. Fine. ACL. Yeah. For ACL, ACL out of the year, yeah. Just running um, on his own. That's going to hurt that. That's going to hurt that. Tennessee's a 13-and-a-half point favorite, but uh, I like Tennessee. Who you like, Big Mike? Uh, Tennessee. All right, here we go. We got Alabama. We got two games left, Alabama at Auburn and Troy at Arkansas State. Our next let me give, uh, let me give Will Fitz real quick. Uh, okay. Will, Will, Will didn't get into that because we, we got, got two lines going. But uh, Will Fitz is going to be six of the week. He, he likes Baylor, Baylor plus eight and a half against Texas. 
Uh, we wanted everybody to know he was uh, had a great, great week, week last week, too. He won a lot of games. So this is against the line. Cincinnati, Cincinnati minus two and a half, half against um, Tulane. Uh, North Carolina, Carolina minus six, six against, against North Carolina, Carolina State. State. It's a surprising thing to me. Florida plus nine and a half against Florida, Florida State. State. He you likes like Michigan, Michigan plus eight against Ohio State. State. I did not, not like that at all. Uh, Clemson, Clemson minus 14 against South Carolina. Carolina. Bama, Bama minus 22 and a half against Auburn. Oregon minus three against Oregon State. State. Notre, Notre Dame, Dame plus six against, against USC. That's not a bad pick. Vandy plus 14 against Tennessee. Tennessee. And, and he likes Mississippi State, State plus the three, three against, against Ole Miss, Miss on uh, Thursday night. night. So that's, that's the Will Matthews Law Firm pick of the week. Hot. And you know, uh, I'm telling you, you Auburn Tigers better take another look at that situation. Yeah. yeah. Will also, also said Tiffin is a done, done deal, 10 years, $100 million, million dollars of Auburn. Also, also Ole Miss was $17 million, million dollars from Auburn, Auburn to buy Tiffin's Tiffin contract. contract. Oh, Woo. boy. That, that, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's actually, actually, that's, that's that's actually, actually from Mac Powell, the coach of Ole Miss, lives in Mississippi, called a show every uh, Wednesday. So we'll, we'll find out if that's true or not. Come Friday or Saturday, or Saturday yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got Auburn versus Alabama. Alabama is the host team. I got that wrong on the list. So we do it. We do scores. Scores for the Alabama Auburn game and the Troy Arkansas State game. I'm gonna pick Alabama. Woo! Points. I'm gonna take Alabama. Go ahead. I'm trying to figure out a score. I'm gonna go 45. 14. Bama. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Score 45 points anymore. What else is looking? I'll take Alabama 34. Uh, 34. Auburn 17. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be rainy in Tuscaloosa, which will definitely lead to Auburn running game. Looks like an 80% chance of rain. Uh oh. I'm not sure. Ah, 62 in Tuscaloosa. Are they playing in Tuscaloosa? Yeah, they're playing in Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Alabama is a 22 and a half point favorites. Alabama uh, is getting Josh Gibbs back to running back. Thank goodness. Back, thank goodness. Uh, he's, he's been out the last couple of weeks. Um, let's do it. The tight end side out last week. He'll be back. Ricks. Um, the start quarterback will be back as well for Alabama. Offensive line should be healthy for Alabama. I think they're getting another guy back on the offensive line. But Alden is playing with Clark with Cadillac as a coach. I will see. I will, I will say, say this, this. I, I think Auburn will cover the 22 and a half. I think Alabama wins kind of a sloppy game. game. Um, I, I think, think they'll be turning over in the rain. I think Alabama wins 31 to 20. 31 to 20. Okay. All right. Let me, let me, let me say one thing. Alabama uh, is, is, one, is, is just two plays away from being undefeated. Two plays. Yeah, and, and, and they're number seven in the playoff rankings right now, too. I mean, I'm not saying I think, I think they deserve to get into the, the four teams of the playoff, but they're, they're not too far away. Yeah. If some odd things happen. But the, the, let's <laughs> just say they, they lost the last two. The, their two losses were on the last play of the game. That's the way it mm -hmm. uh, Yeah, I don't know if Clemson to lose, TCU lose, USC lose, and LSU to lose. Michael, your mama don't agree with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, my twin sister. Yeah, my twin sister went to Auburn. Auburn and and my mom went to Auburn, Auburn, so we got to split up. Troy's at Arkansas State. I'm going to pick Troy. Okay. Yeah, you're you're playing a team that's three and eight. One in six, six in the conference, Butch Jones, Jones has not done a great, great job so far at Arkansas State. State. Of course, uh, you know, he was at Arkansas State, he's the head coach of Tennessee, of Tennessee. He used to be at Central Michigan, he used to be at Cincinnati. Boy, when he was at Central, Central Michigan in a bowl game. Troy, offensively, will have to start fast in this game, get a lead, make Arkansas State have no confidence. But if it's tied at the half, it's going to be really scary. This Troy team, all not, not, I mean, all not, not that against them. I think they'll win the game. I'll have to cover the line. 
Rocky, Rocky Floyd winning this game, game 27 to 17. Big Mike? All right, I'm going to take, take Troy uh, 24 to 14. I'm going to take Troy 17 14. Troy. All right. I'll go back and change my Let me just say this. If Troy, Troy wins, wins this game, game and James Madison beat Coastal, Coastal, Vegas, Vegas thinks it's going to happen. happen. You know, 13 and a half more favorites. We need to let people just through the gates for that championship game. I mean, I don't want to make money off of it, but the students are out. They'll be in December. I mean, everybody in Floyd needs to go to that game. Because all of them are not going to be playing an SC championship game. All of them are not going to be playing an SC championship game. It, it will be, be the, the only, only game, game in the state. state like that. mm -hmm. That's right. It, 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 you're exactly right. That's where to look at it. And, and there will be people coming from everywhere to see this game if, if Troy can make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things, too. I want to remind everyone, Charles Henson plays at Faith Academy this Friday night. And uh, Andalusia is at Montgomery Catholic. St. James is at Mobile Christian. And Highland Home travels to B.B. Corn. B.B. Comer in Sylacauga. Um, the state championship games that are set up, Thompson and Auburn will play Wednesday of next week, November the 30th at 7 o'clock in Auburn. On Thursday at 10, at 11 o'clock, the 3A championship game will take place. And on the 1st, also on Thursday at 3 o'clock, it's the 1A championship game. And the 5A state championship game is next Thursday, December the 1st at 7 o'clock. And Friday, <clears throat> your championship games at 11, uh, the 4, 4A four uh, championship game. If Highland Home makes it, they'll play at 3 o'clock Friday, December the 2nd. And 6A will end the state championships at 7 o'clock for 6A. So we're hoping next Thursday, a group from Troy and all their alumni will be, next Thursday will be in Auburn at 7 o'clock, next Thursday, and then next Friday at 3 o'clock, Highland Home. And, um, but we got yeah, to get through Mobile. Charles game, we need to mention also will be filmed uh, by, by Troy Taylor. Unfortunately, it won't be live. They can't show it live because of the policy. But they'll have a high school player association. The game, game will be live, well, not, not live, live, but the recorded game, game will be on Twitter at 9 a.m. on Saturday. Yes. Especially yes. after a big chalk right. And uh, okay. the radio, uh, WTBF radio, will have it uh, live Friday night as far as radio. Who does that game? I think, I, think, I think this Friday night uh, is going to be Bart and Stephanie Snyder are going to do it. We got about one Bart minute left. Yeah, yeah, they're they're down there, but Bart's been calling the game uh, on uh, on WTBF. Him and others, he's been doing it. I know. And uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie was more Charleston than Charleston. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you this: uh, I'll tell you this. Coming from the uh, the Charleston area, I'm not sure what the game will be like. Uh, it's going to be a big game. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining our show today. You can see us at 1.30, the replay. It's on Facebook and YouTube, TC2TV. Have a great uh, Thanksgiving weekend. We'll see you Monday Happy morning. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy uh, $5,000 minimum trade value for your trade this weekend. Appraisers on site.
Whether it's checking and savings accounts, personal or business loans, or our local friendly service. That's what Troy Bank and Trust customers expect. But now we offer more. Free identity theft protection for our new and existing customers. Protecting your family's time, money, and good name from identity theft. Because protecting your identity is now a big part of our identity. In the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle? We've got what you're looking for. So come see us at Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Troy, and you too can experience the Jackson satisfaction. Bill Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC.